Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel and Power BI. In this module, I want to show you how you can pull information from Power BI into Excel. I want to pull that information or this information into an Excel file. This is how you do it. Going into Excel, picking a blank file, go to the data tab and you've got get data, from Power Platform, for example, and then you've got Power BI. And then it will load up and give you the options to pull in data from your different reports. So these are the reports, and there's the drill through one. You get two options, insert as a pivot table and insert as a formatted table. So I'll go that way first, pivot table. So that will show me all the columns, as you can see there, and then it's a case of just generating a report in Excel. This is for people really that are not too familiar with Power BI, but want to run a report in Excel. So if I go, for example, location, and then just spend, just drag and drop them in there like that. You get the, the figures coming in and I can maybe go department across the top. So once you have the data in Excel like that, you can format it. This is just normal data in a pivot table. You can do what you want with it. You can put conditional formatting on it if you want. So that's the pivot table option. And if you don't like it like that, you can just push the location into filter, maybe departments into rows. That's the pivot part of it. it looks a bit tidier. If you want to format that to accounting you can go into number format and select accounting and then that will be on there like so now if the data changes you've got refresh options on the data tab you've got refresh options on the pivot table analyze tab and you can right click and also do refresh this will pull in the, any changes from Power BI into Excel. So that was the first one. If I go back to the first sheet, the other option down there was to come in as a formatted table, which is that one, insert as a table. And then this basic just gives you the option to create a formatted table. Same thing, list in the fields. So let's go, I want department, location, spend colleague and I'll do insert that and that just drops in as a formatted table when you click into that you'll get the table design tab at the top where you can utilize all these features if you so wish with totals on the bottom and changing the color of it if you don't like the style of it you can just change these like so it's a formatted table so very quick and then you've got refresh on the data tab as well on the right mouse button, you've got refresh also, and that will pull any information in. So that's the options of getting data. Now, if I go into a separate sheet, I could have uh, gone up to the insert tab and on the pivot table options down the bottom there, I could have come through this option and it would load up the same information. Whichever way you go, you can get your data from Power BI quite easily and drop it into Excel. Now you can also export things direct from Power BI. So I've got this report opened in the web browser, Power BI, and let's say I want some information or I want to export this information in this little tile here. If I go to more options in the top right hand corner, you've got a couple of export options and this, this is the one I want to go for. Export data, that will start a wizard and the one I want is this one, summarize the data. If I click on that, I want this to be a live connection, live. So if the data changes, I will pick it up in Excel as well. Clicking on export, that will export. It goes to the downloads folder. You open it up in the downloads folder and then you need to enable the data. So once it loads up, you click 
enable at the top and then again enable content for that to come through so any changes in the source data you will just refresh this from either the right mouse or the data tab um, refresh all so this is the other way around you're just exporting it direct from power bi into excel so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how to get data from power bi into excel and have a live link that you can easily refresh so hopefully that video is of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one